Hello and welcome to The Print. Uh, today we have with us senior BJP leader and former Karnataka chief minister, Mr. Sadaran Gowda. Uh, Mr. Sadaran Gowda uh, has recently made a few comments that have, you know, uh, have suddenly taken over the political mind space in Karnataka. Uh, let's find out from him as to what he means uh, with the statements that he made. Sir, thank you so much for talking to us, sir. Sir, uh, you know, uh, recently you had made a statement that you will remain within the BJP, but you know you will uh, you would like to purify the party from within. What exactly did you mean by this, sir? See, practically, uh, our honourable Prime Minister Narendra Modi wants to see a BJP uh, with some principles and all that, uh, especially as far as Parivarvat, the family. Uh, dynasty politics and other things, uh, he wants to eradicate it. Similarly, corruption, he wants to see that uh, corrupt people should be kept away from political scenario. Uh, this uh, type of uh, few issues that has been taken care of by the central BJP and uh, even the Prime Minister is very particular about all those things. But recently in Karnataka, we have seen certain issues which really uh, makes us uh, to uh, feel shy because of the present uh, situations that are happening in Karnataka. Uh, recently, uh, the new party president was appointed by the central party leaders. And uh, of course, after a long time, uh, six months, uh, there was a uh, say that uh, the change of uh, leadership is the need of the hour for the state of Karnataka. So accordingly, after losing the elections in the Vidhan Sabha, uh, so uh, the party president, he was not very active and even the opposition leader was not appointed. Under such circumstances, we pressurized the central government to have a new leadership. But after the new leadership emerged in Karnataka, uh, that's also uh, from the same family, we thought that after six months, even though it is uh, from a family member of uh, uh, the former ch uh, Chief Minister Edirapa, we thought that everything will go smooth. But after the uh, uh, taking over as the party president, uh, things went on in a wrong direction. Uh, the whole decisions are being taken uh, by the father, son and uh, their uh, uh, team and never uh, they used to take it very seriously to consider the views of uh, various party leaders. So I thought that what all the Prime Minister was telling about our party, that need to be uh, taken care of here in Karnataka also. So you have, you know, you've said that, you know, Mr. Yadurappa and his family has sort of taken control over the party and uh, your colleague, Mr. Ishwarappa, too, has made the same allegations. Uh, what is the central government, I mean, what is the BJP's central leadership view on this, sir? I mean, how have they taken your consultation so far? Uh, I think that uh, uh, the elections are fast approaching. They are busy, very busy with the uh, parliamentary elections and uh, no much time is there to take care of the issues, what is happening here. Uh, even though we brought few issues to the central leaders, uh, they were telling that, uh, of course, after elections, we will take care of these issues and we will deal with the matter. But when we go to the voter, uh, they used to put us various questions, which we are unable to answer to them, to just uh, to bring it to the notice that very, we are also very serious as far as this issue is concerned. The only uh, the present issue which is in our uh, uh, domain is that the Honorable Prime Minister uh, uh, Narendra Modi Shi should uh, continue as the Prime Minister for the third term. For that reason we are a uh, little bit uh, shy uh, to go to the people uh, to explain what are the inner things. But day by day things are moving in a wrong direction. For that reason uh, we all senior leaders uh, who are really uh, want to see that our party uh, should be a party with difference. We are making these statements so that the central is also taking care and even the public, the voters, they feel that yes, the BJP uh, few leaders are on this direction to clean, clean the party.
So you were also replaced, uh, you know, in Bengaluru North with Shobha Karandaji, another person closely associated with Mr. Yadurappa. Now, did this, uh, you know, uh, did this trigger something of, you know, uh, a rebellion within you, or because you had also told us that you did not want to contest elections? So, say practically, uh, I am I am completing 30 years of my journey as the people's representative, two terms MLA, four terms MP. Me in the middle, I held various positions in the party and all that. I thought that it is a high time to see that uh, the new blood should be um, brought in. Um, but the very question which stressed the matter uh, is that uh, a candidate to my constituency, of course, uh, even if it is denied to me, it would have been given to a local person or to a person who has been sent out from another constituency where the, uh, the cadre and the voters, they said that no, she should not contest here. For that reason, we have got some uh, confusion uh, between us because uh, if we talk too much about uh, the candidature at this juncture, it also may create, we want to see that a people's representative, an MP from my constituency uh, should be there at uh, Delhi to support the prime ministerial candidate uh, that is uh, Narendra Modi ji and uh, for that reason we don't want to go to the uh, uh, public uh, uh, as far as those issues are concerned. Uh, otherwise the issue is very serious that we will take care of after the completion of the elections. But just in precise, I wanted to bring it to the notice of the voter as well as the public saying that yes, what is there in your mind, it is there in our mind also. Certainly we will assure you that the things, what all things are happening now, it will not repeat after the elections and we will see a, a good um, unit in Karnataka also, just like what is there in direct Delhi. So, because Mr. Yadirappa has been, you know, he's been calling the shots in Karnataka BJP for a very long time. And, you know, his son has been a three-time MP right uh, now. And his uh, other son became an MLA. So, I mean, all these years, uh, you all did not raise your voice against this, you know, this consolidation of power. Why now, sir? Uh, practically, you see, recently the new party president has been appointed by the central party. And... Uh, immediate challenge of ours is to see that we want to win all the 28 constituencies in Karnataka. Under such circumstances, if you raise certain issues which create some confusions in the mind of the voters or the people, uh, that should not happen. And we thought that even Edurapa, he being the um, uh, member of the Central Parliamentary Board and uh, his son being the party president, he also will take care and he will consult and he want to see that uh, the things uh, which certainly will not create confusion in the mind of the minds of the people. But uh, it has not happened. Even in Chikmagalur, uh, uh, Udupi Chikmagalur constituency, uh, the candidature, even for uh, your uh, um, uh, Haveri, the candidature, even for Bangalore North, the candidature, even the Belagam, uh, the candidature, and uh, certain candidature, candidates who have been named now, uh, really it is because of the pressure of the Honorable uh, chief, uh, former Chief Minister or the uh, Central Parliament member Ed Europa and his son. It, the people started to discuss this issue in the public domain. I wanted to put an end to this. Ishwarapa wanted to put an end to this. Madhuswami wanted to put an end, uh, end to this. Ethnal wanted to put an end to this. Nalin Kumar Katil wanted to put an end to, end to this. Pratap Shima wanted to put an end to this. There is a similar people are, uh, but unfortunately because of the election and because all the people who are raising these issues, are, they were very much interested uh, in contesting the elections. So, this gives a confusion in the minds of the people. Otherwise, the similar um, my, uh, mindset is there across the cadre in the state that we want to take care of. Okay. So, sir, when you say purification, how do you, so after the elections, how do you propose to go forward with your plan, sir? Sir, uh, certainly we hope that even the messages that we are receiving to, from the center, yes, what all things you are raising, that concerns will be taken care of by us. But now it is a high time to go for elections. For that reason, 
uh, uh, we are keeping quiet but we want to send a message to the public that we are also with you please bless honorable prime minister narendra modi and our party in karnataka so in karnataka we've seen uh, you know we've seen mr yadurappa as chief minister we as we saw him step down as chief minister we saw mr bommai take over also uh, but you know you you're saying that the the breaking point was when his son was appointed the state president over many other deserving candidates the but i don't want to comment about that because it is a central party uh, they want uh, they will decide who, who should be party president here in karnataka after the debacle in, Ma- in the vidhan sabha elections uh, uh, practically everybody felt that a new leadership should be there here in karnataka and a united show we should put and even we to uh, should have a social engineering and here and there but uh, uh, the present selections uh, there is a there is a uh, big confusion in the minds of the public that that has not happened but whatever it may be we want to see that the honorable prime minister narendra modi uh, should be the prime minister for another term for that the karnataka contribution should be uh, to a greater extent so does this mean you will actively campaign in bangalore north sir uh, sir i will campaign all over karnataka see soon after the declaration of the uh, candidate to bangalore north the candidate came to me and she sought the, my blessings i blessed her on the very same day i had been to two vidhan sabha constituencies that is one pulkesh nagar and kerpuram along with her and i campaigned certainly the issues really we could not able to answer individually for that reason certain issues need to be taken care of in the public domain so sir in you know for the other parts of karnataka now you say you're going to campaign across karnataka but there are these issues like you know in north you have mr yatnal raising similar issues about the yadurappa family then now you have mr ishwarappa saying that he will contest as an independent uh, do you think that you know all of this will culminate into something of uh, a better bjp that or an ideal party that you've always uh, pictured sir uh, certainly sir what uh, uh, you said i think that certainly a, a bjp which the honorable prime minister wants to see across the country that will be there here in karnataka also sir lastly sir now you say that you know uh, karnataka you want to win 28 on 28 seats uh, so will these issues be a factor in the elections uh, will there be uh, you know you have said that you will actively campaign but the others are not so enthusiastic mr ishwarappa included uh, don't seem very enthusiastic they seem enthusiastic in defeating mr yadurappa and his family so do you think this will dent the bjp's chances in karnataka sir sir uh, we are trying to convince all the uh, leaders who really felt very bad about the recent uh, activities of the party president and uh, edirappa and his team uh, but we are trying to facilitate him even the central leaders are, are also intervened already few uh, areas uh, and we hope that uh, after the uh, last date of uh, uh, submitting the nomination and all that certainly we will be able to resolve these issues among ourselves and united we will fight against congress and was this seen that uh, mr yadurappa gave tickets only to his loyalists and not uh, anybody else <laughs> it is quite visible sir i know because we can't tell lies to the public we can uh, say few words but the real things what has happened that cannot be ignored or can, uh, cannot be overtaken and finally sir is mr yadurappa's you know consolidation of the party actually threatening the bjp's uh, future at, uh, in karnataka complete sir uh, the present situation favors him because the whole people across the country they want narendra modi so uh, even karnataka bjp the people in karnataka they all feel that narendra modi should be the our uh, next prime minister for the third term uh, under such circumstances uh, they are taking undue advantage of this situation and they feel that no everybody is uh, favoring modi it doesn't mean that they are favoring uh, the team here but they are favoring modi only and uh, after modi's election everything will be set right thank you so much for talking to us thank you thank you sir